this third degree burn on the 60, uh, 64 third degree burn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chaos searing Lord, Lord of Flames. Keep fighting the chaos that lives inside me Trying to hold down the beast But it's hard to do that Because everybody angers me And triggers it I live in this world This uh, Kansas City uh, City What is up? This is my Archbishop of Chaos Your king of the map It's about time EX Turk and I know you get tired of me talking about the Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know, as much as the wit Jehovah Witnesses go door to door. But I gotta keep talking about Final Fantasy VII Remake because I'm hyped for the game. I just love the game that much to talk about it. So, with, with this, I want to talk about one thing that they could use from Final Fantasy XV. I think it's possible for the combat switches, from what we've seen in the trailer, you got to switch to Barrett and Cloud. Maybe not Avalanche members like Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge, but Barrett and Cloud. Now, if you could do that, I'm pretty sure they're going to program, and this is probably one of the reasons why it's taken so long. They're probably program all the characters' different gameplay. Since this is no longer turn-based anymore, and this is going to be playing like Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy 15 ish style for this remake... I think it's possible that they're working on each gameplay for each character as well. Like, I think it's possible that Vincent Valentine will play like Prompto, except with the transformations and magic he can use. Sid will play like Ignis with the spears and lances. You know, Barrett would be playing gun stuff too, considering he's a gun arm. Tief would be a brawler. You know, all that stuff. I'd probably use, the, like, Ignis's brawler style, but with her gloves, you know. Yuffie would just be throwing projectiles. But nonetheless, it's like... I gotta keep talking about this because it's just, I wonder if, they, if that's what's also taking so long. Are they gonna really throw in, that'd be pretty cool if they throw in each character's individual gameplay, especially since it's a full game. There's not gonna really need no DLC episodes. Of course, they might put DLC episodes just to keep the game going and going and going, but I think it's, po you know, I think it's completely possible that since this is a full length game that's episodic and it's a huge, huge ass game. They'll be able to fit all the stories of all the characters you you pretty much find in the game. Even the ones that are once optional like Yuffie and Vincent, which now are probably, you know, permanent characters in the series. So, I think it's 100% possible that we're going to be seeing uh, character switch gameplays just like it was in Final Fantasy XV. And there's going to be parts of the games that are going to be tailored to each story. So you're probably going to have to play a main character that's different than the one you have. I'm pretty sure they're going to switch like the Corel. I'm pretty sure they're going to switch the Corel uh, prison saga where Barrett meets Dine. Where you have to play as Barrett and you got to go find um, Dine alone. Or when you or even when you play as Vincent Valentine to figure out what happened during Lucretia's time. And then Cloud by himself once you... Once you go back in the, you know, once you go back in his flashbacks with Zack, you get to play a bull Zack, you know. It'd be pretty cool to see this character change stuff, and it'd be nice to have their own unique gameplay. This is no longer turn-based anymore, and they can actually do that. Even with the Kingdom Hearts type of gameplay, they can still do that, because Kingdom Hearts gameplay is kind of different when you have Disney characters in your team or Final Fantasy characters in your team. So I don't see why they couldn't do this with this, with, with this remake, because... I mean, for Vince and Valentine, Vince and Valentine's uh, um, gameplay style is pretty easy. All you gotta do is switch them kind of like Prompto. You know, kind of like what they did for Dirge of Cerberus. Just put that kind of moveset for Vince and Valentine where you could switch guns, upgrade guns, and use magic and transform. You know, pretty much use the game, use Dirge of Cerberus gameplay when you switch to Vince and Valentine as your main character. You know, as well as the other stuff. Now, I think this would be pretty good, especially if this is gonna be a big game. I don't see why they couldn't put character, you know, character changes in this. I think character changes would be at least pretty smart if if Nam if Namora's smart, he would actually make the character have their unique play style to them since this is no longer turn based now. You could do anything you want now in this game since it's a free realm. Pretty much what we've seen in the trailer is exactly confirming to be true even though they're remaking it again technically they're taking what they already got and changing it up a little bit and it's going to be different than what we saw in the 2015 trailer 
I'm still pretty confident from what we saw in the 2015 trailer that, you know, you're still going to be able to switch your characters out if you don't want to play Cloud the rest of your game. I mean, I mean, let's be honest, we're going to want to play Cloud the rest of the game, but let's just say you want, you know, let's just say you get into a character story where you have to play this character story to get a special item or something like that, or it's required to play, you know, set characters. Like, the time you had to play Sid High when, when Cloud was, you know, had a, his third time be a Mako Poison, you had to play a Sid, so I'm pretty sure... It'd be nice to actually have Sid style gameplay, and like I said, Dirge is certain with Vincent Valentine. Dirt, you know, his gameplay style in 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 the Final Fantasy VII remake would be easy to pick out because all you do is do take the Dirge of Cerberus playstyle for him. You know, put the um, other playstyles for everybody else. You know, have Sid use his lances and stuff like that, and and use you if he uses projectiles. But nonetheless. Or you could just use healing, but th I think that this is going to be big enough. I think it's possible if Namor is smart enough. Now, what we see in the trailer is most likely going to happen, even though it's a 2015 trailer. And they could probably, even though if they change the game, it looks like it's 100% possible that they're going to keep what they already got gameplay-wise. They're just going to change the level, the way the levels look, the way the characters look, you know, the way the scenarios are. Because, I mean, even if this is going to be episodic, you still have to have space on your PS4 to play it, too. So, they're going to have to compress it as well, which takes roughly a, a long time. It takes, like, a roughly long time to get it, you know, to get it put into the actual... To get it to put into the actual, you know, game base. So, you know, and then they're I think they're redoing the soundtrack and everything. But it, it, it's going to be pushed back because Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to come out. And that's the first thing that's going to come out this year. Since last year was all Final Fantasy 15. This year is going to be Kingdom Hearts 3. The next year is going to be Final Fantasy 7 Remake for sure. So, I mean, I can't blame them for pushing it back a little bit. But like I said, I hope that they would actually keep the uh, character change style... Just like the uh, 2015 trailer. So we could actually play the characters in their own play style. Since this is no longer turn-based. And it make us feel with the unique experience like it was in 15. Because even though 15 was slow on it. When we got after Epica episode Prompto, Gladiolus, and Ignis. And you got the you get the character switch mode from the update and the ascension skills. It felt unique actually playing the characters. It felt like I was actually playing the characters when I switched to the characters. Like, you got to switch to uh, Lances and the the Daggers for Ignis. You got to use a big sword if you want to play Gladiolus. You got to use a bunch of guns and ammunition to pro pro play Prompto. So, it felt really unique. And I want that kind of, I want that kind of unique, I want that kind of uniqueness inside this remake of Final Fantasy 7 just like you just like they did with 15 because I mean people like the, the combat system now again it's like the Kingdom Hearts combat system but still even with that I still think they could still put in some unique gameplay because even Kingdom Hearts Disney characters and Final Fantasy characters had their own unique play style that made them you know you un actually unique and since you're gonna be playing Avalanche through the whole entire game why not make all the characters do special things without you know Without having to be restricted to certain commands. Maybe make commands different for certain characters. For people who want to play this or that. You know. And as a Vincent Valentine fan. It would be nice to put Vincent Valentine's own gameplay. If you switch to Vincent Valentine. Now I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm just saying. From what we've seen in the 2015 trailer. And what we've seen in Final Fantasy 15 With the character switches. I think this would be a good idea. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And may the crystal be with you. Oh, I can't.